Next <coughs> up, we have Everly Well. Presenting for Everly Well, we have Julia Cheek and Murdoch Kalegi. All right, please welcome to the stage. All right. Let's see if we can. All right, you guys have six minutes. Go for it. Hi, I'm Julia Cheek, and this is Dr. Murdoch Kalegi. We are transforming the consumer lab testing experience with Everly Well. I'm normally a really energetic person, and about a year ago, I suffered from chronic fatigue and a ton of other symptoms. I spent a lot of time in rooms like this, going to a lot of appointments, and I wasted a lot of money on testing, $2,000 out of pocket. And I thought there had to be a better way than just getting lab results that look like this. I spent weeks Googling this information and couldn't figure anything out. It ended up being a minor adrenal gland imbalance, nothing major. The broken healthcare industry and rising out of pocket costs are forcing consumers to have to be more proactive about their health decisions. Deductibles have increased 70%. In just the last six years, these forces have given rise to a $250 billion consumer driven home health industry, largely characterized by telemedicine, genetic testing, and wearable activity trackers. However, the consumer lab testing experience remains virtually untouched. And that is why we created Everly Well. Everly Well provides convenient, At home health tests with results you can actually understand. Let me show you how it works. Meet Amanda. Amanda's profile is based on several of our early customers. She is a busy mom of three and is suffering from chronic fatigue and aches. She doesn't have time for appointments and she heard about Everly Well and decides to check it out. Let's switch to the demo. Let me switch to the demo. Amanda navigates to our test menu page. We have eight test kits available that all measure key, well studied lab markers using blood, saliva, or urine, all collected at home. We offer kits like women's fertility or food sensitivity, and we have the ability to scale to over 100 tests. I could speak at length here on regulatory compliance, but I will say this. We are compliant in the 46 states where we operate with direct to consumer testing regulations, and all of our labs are fully CLIA certified and have conducted thousands and thousands of tests. These tests are third party validated to be as accurate as any test your doctor orders. Amanda decides to order our food sensitivity panel and our sleep and stress test. When her kit arrives, let's switch to the camera. When her kit arrives, she follows the easy to follow step by step instructions. And then she collects her sample for the sleep and stress kit, which is saliva. She sends her kit off in the mail, and in five business days, she logs into her Everly Well account and she's alerted her results are ready. Let's switch back to the demo. When her results, please switch back to the demo. Thank you. Uh, other laptop. Thank you. Not our computer. <laughs> Sorry. Are we Great. Still looking for the right computer? Okay. It. So it's up here. So uh, when she logs into her dashboard and she clicks on her food sensitivity results, she's able to see very quickly, she can filter by reactivity, and she notices immediately that she's highly reactive. To cow's milk and egg yolk. She clicks on cow's milk and learns more about her reactivity and a suggested trial elimination plan. She can also share her results with anyone that she chooses, socially, on email, or print them for her physician. She then switches to her sleep and stress results. She notices immediately that her cortisol levels, instead of decreasing throughout the day, actually increase. She's able to use the evidence based information provided by Everly Well to eliminate caffeine, change her exercise habits to the morning, and cut all of her screen time at night. 
She actually retests 90 days later. She's feeling much better, and her cortisol levels have normalized. Let's switch, switch back to the slides, please. The consumer experience, which you just saw, is very simple. On the back end, Everlywell has built a custom platform where when Amanda places her order, she actually has her lab requisition authorized by a board-certified physician, and then we fulfill that kit and manage logistics among four partner labs and thousands of customers. We also translate unstandardized HL7 data into the results that you saw here today. We sell our kits online from 79 to 399. That may seem high out of context, but it's actually less than most out of pocket pricing and usually less than insurance as well. We have telemedicine and corporate wellness partnerships in the works to be able to expand our distribution. Everly Well is based in Austin, Texas, and we launched in beta in May. We have customers in 45 states and 1,500 beta customers. 15% of which are purchasing multiple kits. 10% of everyone referred to our platform by a current customer buys a test. We are really proud of our early beta traction, but our vision is much larger. In the same way that consumer-ordered pregnancy tests, HIV, and DNA tests have gone from non-existent to ubiquitous, so too should health and wellness testing, and Everly Well is here to change that. Your test, on your time, and on your terms. We're excited to announce our public launch here today. Visit everlywell.com slash disrupt. Thank you. Great work, Everly Well. <laughs> Judges, please take it away. So one of the challenges with consumer-facing healthcare is that consumers don't want to think about healthcare. So what are you putting in place to get beyond that consumer barrier to just not wanting to think about their own health care and just kind of leaving it up to medical professionals? Sure. Um, we believe we've demonstrated that that behavior is changing. Um, I think that with the um, addition of 23andMe test kits and wearable technologies that people are becoming um, more willing and more proactive to measure these markers. Um, all of our health and wellness test kits uh, measure data that you're superficially tracking anyway if you are using a sleep tracker, a fitness tracker, et cetera. And we're trying to get to that next level um, to really inform your lifestyle changes. So we, um, I think with our early traction, the way that we're going to the consumer, which is largely on Facebook through brand advertising, social media and AdWords, um, have been pretty successful in changing that. Uh, path. So I, I'll, I'll take the opposite side of that question, which is I, I got, I've got a family of hypochondriacs that spend <laughs> like all day on Dr. Google, sure. like explaining to me what illnesses they have. And then they go to the doctor and the doctor is like, please stop going to Dr. Google. This is the <laughs> worst thing in the world, right? Um, and they're going to love this because they're going to go get every test and it's going to tell them all these wonderful things. And then they're going to go to the doctor and the doctor is going to want to like, like, you know, take a Xanax. So how do you, how do you, uh, how do you, I mean, how do you integrate with existing healthcare and make sure that people aren't, um, you know, getting tests that they don't need or misreading results or creating issues uh, that they don't need? Can I answer that? Sure. First of all, we always encourage our users to share their results with their primary caregiver. In general, what we, what I've found as a practicing physician is my patients are already increasingly bringing me their own health information, whether it be their activity tracking, sleep tracking, and more recently, genetic information. What we're trying to do is increase the quality and health, or quality and depth of that information by offering tests that really can't do any harm. No one ever got hurt by getting their cholesterol checked. There's only benefit to the user. And so that's where we've really curated our tests around. And then quickly, how do you take your blood at home? Um, it's capillary blood testing using a finger prick lancet. All of the markers that are the blood analyzed markers have been well validated to be accurate for that form of blood testing. And, and is there a path towards getting reimbursement from the insurers with this direct-to-consumer model? There is. We are working on it right now. Um, we are establishing first out-of-pocket, um, out-of-network contracts, and then from there we'll work over the next six to 12 months to actually establish individual contracts with the providers. 
Um, some insurance companies already cover the product because it is physician authorized. However, it is, it is individual on a case-by-case -case basis. So today we work to educate our consumers on what their cost will be um, with their insurance plan or without, and in the future we should be able to have coverage. I actually love this. I'm seeing more and more people in the UK actually going out there and taking, doing their own tests, and especially around the food allergies. But what I'm curious about is how do you, I mean, as with any company, you have to build your brand and, and be credible. So I think a lot of people are going to question your labs, question, you know, the, how credible your company is. How do you demonstrate, how do you show that? The quality of the labs? Yeah, how do you communicate to a customer that this is, you know, legitimate, this is mm -hmm. credible, the labs are accurate because, you know, people have lots of issues with labs, like, yeah. how, how, do you, how do you communicate that? Well, fortunately, there are dozens of um, well-validated labs around the country that do specialized testing using dried blood spots, saliva, urine, and, of course, more technologies um, in development. And all of these labs, their current customers are physicians. Sure. And so we're able to communicate. We share the validation data. We share both the internal and third-party proficiency and validation testing data. And so if a consumer inquires about that, we're very open and transparent with our lab information and our partners. Partnerships, and so it um, is just something that we handle on a case-by-case -case basis. But I meant more in terms of attracting people. So I've actually been looking into this because I think mm -hmm. I have a gazillion food allergies, unlike your family. But the question for me would be like, how do I know that you, the labs that you're using are the best labs? That's the question that I have. How do you communicate yeah. that? As Julia was mentioning, we're fortunate to work with labs that are already well established, that have conducted hundreds of thousands to millions of tests ordered by physicians, so physicians already have a lot of credibility. What's another huge advantage of these labs is they're very transparent in their validation and accuracy uh, because they wouldn't be able to function if they weren't as accurate as traditional lab testing. And so there's very uh, accessible third-party validation data saying, okay, we've taken your labs and compared it to other labs, and it's incredibly accurate. And so doctors have have seen this data, they understand that these are very credible and legitimate labs, and now we're sharing that information with the consumer as well. How much does it cost? So you're outsourcing the labs right now, you'll eventually do the test yourselves, right? Is that what I heard? And then how much does it cost you to service it? What's the margin? And then yeah. the customer acquisition cost today? Is it higher or lower sure. than a water yeah. laser? Sorry, higher or lower? Higher lo lower than a water laser. Uh, yeah, <laughs> for the I can, uh, the it's not market. quite as proprietary for us, so I can answer that question. So um, we're really excited. Um, on a unit economics perspective, we have pretty outstanding gross margins for uh, 90 days. Um, they're about 40%. Now, that is with no economies of scale. We haven't hit our volume discounts. We haven't you know, been able to kind of achieve a lot of what you need to uh, scale to vertically to be able with a logistics business like ours. Um, and with, even with our customer acquisition costs, we are already breaking even on every kit that we sell, um, both from a fully loaded marketing standpoint and all of our uh, cost of goods sold. But, but to scale, to really scale, don't you have to integrate with the payers? And once you integrate with the payers, mm. don't your margins come under tremendous pressure? You know, I think that when we think about scaling, we think a lot about how many labs can we add and how many test kits can we add that consumers want access to. And being that platform, um, when we add payers, we will have to look at that particular coverage model and see how the economics will work. We do know that with telemedicine partners that we're talking to and corporate wellness partners outside of payers, oftentimes they're already getting the insurance coverage since they're the NPI provider. And so we can actually leverage that in many cases so that the economics still remain competitive. All right, we are out of time. So give it up for Everly Well. Thank you. Thank you. Nice work, guys.